hi friends today in this video i'll be showing you how you can open a contributor account in iStock by get images in a step-by-step -step manner so that you can upload your photos videos and artwork and earn some money as a passive income so let's get started For those who are watching me for the first time, I am Dr. Orindam. I am a doctor by profession, but my hobby is photography and I have explored stock photography since last three years, more than three years. And I have earned thousands of dollars across many agencies. And I have made this channel dedicated to stock photography where I teach you guys, you beginners and motivate the existing ones, how you can keep up with this fashion of stock photography and videography so that you can earn some passive income from your hobby. All right. So actually I made a video guide for iStock quite a while back. That's a very old video you can find in my channel, one of my most watched videos. But that was a different time where the signing up into iStock was allowed simply if you had a computer. Okay. I mean via web application. I did it just on Google Chrome but times have changed now having a smartphone is a must so in this video i'll be showing you the step-by-step -step manner what you need to do on the website and what you need to do on the smartphone okay so uh, first what you need to do is i'll open an incognito tab because i have already opened up an account okay so i'll the website will automatically sign me in so what you need to do is you need to go to this website esp.getimages.com Please mind it. I have made a separate video regarding the differences in iStock and Getty Images. Okay, as a beginner, you will almost always land up in iStock. So if you want to know the difference between two, I have got a dedicated video and I will give the link to that in the description. So esp.getimages.com if you go to that website if you have already got an account you need to put your username and password and then you can sign in and you can upload photos i have got multiple guides regarding that but this is a first timer guide okay if you are new what you need to do so here it is written sell your artwork interested in becoming a contributor of course we are so you need to click on apply now in my previous video when you click apply now uh, there was options to uh, provide your username i mean name email id password etc okay uh, and then you could have uploaded few test photos and those photos were for initial review now the thing has completely changed over here you can see having an app is a must okay so whether you are on apple ios or you are on android you need to download the app okay so let me uh, show you how it is done in a, a step by step manner so just follow along and it will be very easy for you sorry i bumped into my mic so what you need to do i have an iphone so i'll go to the app store mind it it's exactly same okay so what you need to do you need to search contributor by getty images okay contributor by getty images and if you search this okay if you search this this first app that is coming with an icon g g stands for get images you need to download it and then you need to open it okay uh, since i have already downloaded i will click on open okay now over here again if you have already got an account you need to just uh, sign in with your username and password but since we are doing it for the first time okay so what we need to do is we need to uh, click on get started okay here it says simply upload three to six of your best images to get started so make sure uh, if you are uploading your camera phone images then it's fine if you are uploading images from a from your dslr make sure you have transferred them into the i mean your phone because you always want to start your review process with the best quality work that is possible my suggestion would be avoid night time shots okay avoid shots that have got a person because the issue of model release often comes okay so simply uh, give those photos which does not have any living person identifiable person that does not have any tattoo okay you can give nature shots anything else product shots make sure there is no logo visible and make sure it's shot in daylight okay if you're in using a mobile phone make sure you have shot it outdoor and in daylight so that there is no noise noise is an absolute enemy okay so you need to click on get started okay so what you need to do you need to give a email id so over here i will uh, type in 
my email id which of course is not the email id that i use for existing uh, get images account so i'll give a uh, give separate email id okay mm, so please hang on and then what you need to do you need to give your country of residence in my case it's india okay india have an invitation code no i don't have an invitation code and most of you all must not be having an invitation code okay so you simply need to click on next please mind it there is no referral system in uh, i stock it means if you click on someone referral link and if you sell he is earning some money those things are not happening because i stock they are too proud to offer such referral services they don't need others okay to recruit photographers i guess anyway so what you need to do you need to click on next okay now this is very easy depending on what you are submitting you can submit photos that is photos clicked by camera okay that are photos illustration means anything which is an artwork or graphic design or a drawing a scanned version of it or a digital drawing anything those come under illustration and again videos regarding videos if you are interested in stock videography make sure those videos do not have any sound okay you should remove the sound you should make sure the videos are shot in absolute uh, good well lit condition so that there are no noise in the video yes noise in video also matters and there should be no shake okay these are the things regarding videos i have got dedicated guide regarding what are the do's and don'ts in stock videography stock photography you can explore in my channel or if you need one i can make please request in the comment so let me uh, first add some photos okay so definitely if you are doing it for the first time the app will uh, ask for permission definitely you need to allow that otherwise it won't happen and then i'll uh, simply i will upload few random photos you should not do random stuff okay you should always plan what photos you are going to upload so uh, let me see what i have in recent i have got so many uh, not so good looking photos in my album because i don't plan to uh, upload in stock photography agency anyway so i can select this one photo of vegetable okay this is a nice photo that can go along let me see photos of food okay these are random clicks but you can actually click them okay again this photo uh, and then what else okay so i am uploading four to five food photography that's actually very easy make sure your food is being uh, clicked in good daylight condition i have got a dedicated guide for food photography as well okay so you see over here what is this i have selected six food photos i have simply added you can select graphic designs or videos depending on your area of interest and then you click on apply okay submitting application and you just wait for a moment because uh, since the thumbnails are showing it will still take some time to upload your work into the agency so let us wait it out and after it's done you will uh, see the screen where it says uh, one thing please allow the notification personally for me if any notification comes from any stock photography app i get very happy especially the first time sellers in shutterstock that makes me so happy all the time anyway you should always allow that depends on your preferences next okay you see uh, thanks for application will be reviewing your application and will get back to you in 5 to 7 days okay for confirm check for confirmation email at i mean the email id okay and submission questions contact us okay this is it what you need to do in your uh, i mean uh, mobile and you are done the next step you need to work on the computer so the next step is what will happen in your mobile phone okay so everything i hope will go right okay with the hope that you have uploaded best quality photos and your photos have been liked by the uh, 
auditors or the reviewers and then you will get a invitation on that is congratulations you have successfully your review photos have been passed in the review and then what you need to do you need to and instantly the moment you get that notification a surge of joy will definitely power in your veins okay so next one you need to do what you need to go into the email and then you will get a link from where you need to actually you'll get redirected over there you need to enter your email the existing email that you have put in the web application then you can set your username and password mind it in other stock photography agencies the username is actually your email id not in case of iStock in iStock it is totally different so what you need to do is next the page where we worked on the right side that is sell your work now you need to work on the left side okay so after you have set a username and password you just need to enter this username and password and then you need to click on sign in okay so after you click sign in then you will get the screen this uh, interface is actually the web interface by which you can upload your photos uh, the process is actually very similar you need to click on upload and review content okay by upload and review content then you need to cre create on i mean click on select batch okay this is very important and uh, whatever even if you upload a single photo you need to select upload i mean up you need to upload in a batch so you need to click on iStock creative image if you're uploading photos you need to click on editorial image if you need to upload an editorial image i have got a dedicated video what's the difference between commercial and editorial or if you are uh, i mean uploading an illustration or artwork you need to select creative illustration and if you are uploading a video you need to click on i stock creative video okay please note that the photos or the videos or the artwork that you actually uploaded before this i mean during your account submission are already active in market okay so you don't need to re-upload those things here those five six ten photos are already there in your portfolio okay i have got another dedicated video how you can check your iStock portfolio but you don't need to believe me as long as you are getting sales and you are getting money to me i never check my portfolio anyway so for me i need to create upload image okay batch name you can give anything say trial one okay then you need to click on create right next upload from device right one thing one thing i need to point it out uh, after you your images are approved okay mind it in shutterstock you need to set the title keyword description in, i mean everything and the category uh, during uh, uploading or s before sending them to review in iStock those first six they only check your technical quality so when you get the invitation you get an option to edit them so I'll show you how you can do it uh, here so I'll click on upload from device provided you have now you can simply navigate to the folder where you have your photos ready to upload okay i'll just go to my approved folder okay uh, now okay, i've got so many things uh, anyway so uh, let's see uh, mm, see i have got many uh, things and i have got even images that are rejected <laughs> okay yes i got a lot of i get a lot of rejection that is very common with everyone okay you learn from your mistakes so simply you can uh, go to the folder you can click on them and you need to click on open okay this is after you have done the process in the mobile phone and after you have set up your iStock profile which is actually very easy to do those steps are self-explanatory and i am sure you'll be able to do it i'll uh, again show you what are the things that you need in order to uh, make a profile okay just wait it out and my photos are uploading over here uh, my photos are actually very big in size they are shot in sony a7 III and each photos if they have got multiple things after editing it becomes 25 to 30 mb so three photos almost 100 megabyte here yeah okay anyway so uh, let's wait a while 
because these thumbnails take a lot of time to get updated c over here you can see my title description everything are already there how it's because i have already inserted embedded the metadata into my files using a third party software that software i use is xpix you can do it using lightroom photoshop anything any metadata image metadata editing software those are you can use them okay nowadays xpix is uh, not fully free i mean if you are up using xpix to upload simultaneously to multiple agencies you can't do that okay but still you can use xpix to at least input metadata into your photos which is very handy because you don't have to type in uh, the metadata manually if you are uploading in multiple agencies okay so it's always better to have this inside your photos so over here you can see title description everything date created is already taken into consideration all of these have been taken in the same date so date created can be the same for all of you okay and the country of shoot is extremely essential in i stock in my case it is india if you don't give the country of shoot the images will not be uh, accepted for review anyway so over here you can see one problematic thing in i stock or get images is if you simply uh, input keywords okay that are not in their library they are an american agency okay so all these words uh, for example gamcha okay uh, puja okay these are not in the library okay it means what uh, they don't recognize it but what do i do i always i don't cut it okay if you are using a software like deep meta i have got guide on deep meta you get an option to manually change them right but as long as you are satisfied with what you are doing you can simply uh, send them for review okay you can simply click on save metadata anyway and what you need to do is number of people in my case it is no people okay so no people no people and no people right if there are uh, human beings in your photo you need to give the number and then you need to upload model release and that's a whole new thing if you are knowing if you are already into that stage you probably are not beginning out here and i have got dedicated video regarding how to upload model release in uh, get images everything is available in my channel if you just go to the playlists okay uh, let me show you in my channel you need to uh, go to the playlist section and you can check the playlist where uh, everything is under guide okay uh, see is uh, wire stock guide youtube earning 500 px xpix guide tech tips channel trailer most photos guide deposit photo guide i stock by get images guide and this is the first i mean you can view the full playlist this is the first uh, see it was uploaded on 20 when it was uploaded so let me check so see every video that i have made on i stock right from model release to my sales to uh, everything regarding i stock get images it's already there okay i stock versus get images you'll get everything right uh, so let me check this video see it was uploaded in 24 december 2018 quite a while back okay anyway you don't uh, you can watch it okay how to fill up tax form everything is there right how to check the sales so uh, those are already there so if you pass this stage uh, those guides can really help you so go to the playlist section and you can uh, have that so country of shoot i will again type india on this uh, here it is already there you can select all and simply choose india right now what you need to do is uh, you need to click them you need to click on save metadata okay when you click on save metadata you can see a green arrow is there okay so in spite of having keywords in red that are not in the library you have been permitted to submit okay next when you click on submit this green uh, arrow becomes a gray colored tick 
okay i will not submit them because these photos already have been approved in istock and i don't want to um, make them angry by simply submitting duplicate photos so i'll simply delete these photos okay so uh, this batch will remain like that anyway so what i need to show you over here is um, in case of istock actually what you need to do is there are few things that you need to uh, i mean uh, manually fill up while creating the account okay so you need to click your username and you need to click on your portfolio name okay your username and portfolio name may be the same or maybe it can be different and you need to also i mean the email id will be already there then you need to uh, in settings you can change your upload region basically it doesn't matter i stock have got four servers in my case it should be asia singapore but you can see since last 3 years i am uh, i have i mean by default it was us west coast and then it's like there okay asia singapore is what best suits for india so now i will change it but it seldom affects your sales okay and i am a proof of that <laughs> anyway so under account management these are the things that you need to uh, provide them okay and then uh, this is also another important thing you need to uh, provide them you need to provide your detailed street address basically when you fill up a tax form you need to provide all this right so you need to provide your detailed address the telephone number and email address okay you need to upload a profile photo and then you need to click on update profile right then when uh, you are uploading i mean updating your profile they will also ask you to upload a photo identification that's true for all agencies i will suggest upload passport or driving license if it is not available you can upload aadhar card or any government issued id i stock is actually very lenient i personally uploaded my driving license and i got through okay and these are the things that they will notify you from time to time right when you set up an account immediately they will not demand all of this from you so you can simply keep on uploading your photos you can get sales and in the meantime you can upload your profile but mind it in order to earn from i stock in order uh, in i mean for the money to get credited to your own account you must complete the tax form and also one thing uh, you need to also i mean provide the payout id means either uh, payoneer or skrill or paypal so i stock won't be paying directly to your bank account okay that is true for shutterstock as well as all other agencies i don't i won't make this video long by showing you all that but uh, i have got a video where i have uh, shown you where you can enter your uh, payout information okay but as a starter you don't need to worry about that because when you are starting out it will take quite a while for you to get to the minimum payout balance which is 100 dollars yes unless you earn 100 dollars i stock won't be paying you out but that's good thing your money will be there and you will have a motivation to reach that value as soon as possible so that you can uh earn real money in your bank so guys that's it that's it for today i hope uh, with this a bit info information you are now able to proceed with i stock but most uh, important step is selecting the first few photos which you will be sending out for review one thing your application might get rejected one time two time thrice fourth fifth it doesn't matter you can keep trying and trying with different photos okay and eventually i am sure your application will be approved and then you will get notification in your email and then you can proceed from there to make your profile in i mean contributor profile in get images okay so if you have watched this video till now okay the code of the day is account okay if you type the code word account i will know you are watching this video and i'll be very glad that you have supported me please feel 
free to share this information with your friends photographers and cousins who love stock photography because our aim here is to build a strong community of stock photographers our uh, facebook group is very active and the link to that is also given in the description you can join there and you can share your own experiences i'll see you soon with another video till then bye and take care all right so next in your email you will get a notif so well that teri era kon pochi regular cards keta dite hai all right so i hope everything goes स्क्रिप्टेड नो स्क्रिप्टेड हम एरक लेखा थकले खूब सुविधा तो क्या स्क्रिप्टिंग कर